Hello my beautiful Leos, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller Divine Light and today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for your overall energies. Due to the general nature of this reading, please take what resonates with you. And at the end of your reading, I'm going to pull some cards to clarify if you have a specific question in your mind and get some answers to that. By the way, I'm offering private readings now so you can go to the link in the description box below. You can see my Etsy shop. And also there is a sweepstakes that I'm running a giveaway. I'm going to give away two free coffee cup readings and you can go to community tab and you can see the link to the video that I'm actually doing that. Go ahead to go to that video, watch that one, like, share, subscribe and comment down below. And so you can be a part of that giveaway. Okay. All right, guys, let's jump into your reading and let's see what's coming your way. Okay. All right, this is actually looking very light to me. So this is very good news. So there is gonna be, I see a family reunion here. There's a letter U. This can be you actually, literally, or maybe someone's first name or the last name. I see like a, four people coming together. One of them looks like an angel here. Maybe very angelic persona just gonna be appearing in your life or this is someone in your family who's very angelic and you guys are standing on top of this big chunk of money. So maybe um, family reunion is going to be caused by um, a money issue that you're gonna be discussing about some money, maybe like sharing of that, uh, the sisters and brothers, siblings coming together to discuss something that you already own like it's going to be that kind of a thing that uh, is bringing you together but before that i see here there's a man silhouette appearing this man reminds me the devil card the capricorn this can be a literal capricorn in your life or something that you have been thinking lately obsessively this is going to come to uh, surface and you're going to be discussing about that i see here a soup spoon large uh the spoon that you use like um it's not called spoon but yeah that kind of thing so this can be about actually um sharing dividing something into pieces uh, between people this family environment can be actually indication of that okay and this might be the thing that is bugging you currently maybe you really want this to be resolved um this can also be like um what came into my mind is a, uh, like a um, allocation of positions in a company. Maybe you are up for a promotion and that's what's actually bugging you. It's in your mind all the time. You want to give this like a, get this promotion, but there are maybe other people involved in the situation. Um, that's why you keep thinking about it. But you can see how the energy, the aura is looking so beautiful. So it doesn't matter this or that. It's going to be actually always working out for you. I see a phone line forming here. So you're going to actually receive very good news about this thing very soon. And there is actually a lioness here. You can see she's actually standing, like sitting there uh, sideways, uh, like on the profile, which actually indicates that you are a Leo and it's, lioness actually indicates the your feminine energy feminine doesn't mean female it means that your creative side your loving side your nurturing side and this is actually required by you yourself maybe you need to give this uh, loving energy to yourself in order to multiply whatever that you're attracting into your life or even accept it just be receptive just sit in your meditation and prayer and be receiving the information coming in people complimenting you good things that are actually like the offer that is coming from someone or maybe like the coffee that is free coffee that has been offered to you take it it's time to actually cultivate the receiving energy from the universe because when you do you're gonna start to receive all this goodness there's actually here um there is a um ice cream bowl i see in front of you there's a cherry on top it's standing in front of you you can see like this ice cream right and um so there's going to be a pleasure offered to you and um you need to be in the receptive mode in the knowing that you deserve this this is your right and as soon as you do it you're going to be able to see it because this is already standing in front of you like i said this can be uh something that is actually gained by the family or um at work a promotion an upgrade a new 
offer that is going to lift you up and maybe even is make like, keep you in that receival mode okay i see right after that one there is a woman here she has this big hat with a feather this can be someone very sophisticated that is going to be coming into your life if you're a male watching this and you're interested in women this can be like a female or a feminine character uh, that is going to be showing up in your life that has this like um you know royal uh, tone to them or this can be if you are a female this can be a very good friend or even like your a spirit that is washing over you that will actually uh, if you want to be on this level can actually you can embody this energy you can become that woman okay and after that i show you in the beginning the family environment the gathering i think when you raise your energy you're going to start to attract all this goodness into your life and this actually angel is protecting you if these are your children you are actually your children are being protected as well if you're thinking about what they're doing i also see here there is a big fish jumping out of the water and just there's a crab here crab can be a cancer a person whose um sun or moon sign or venus sign is cancer is trying to catch this fish okay this can be someone they don't really i don't feel like i don't see in their aura negative energy but they might think they're doing um the their best to help you okay you might see them as like trying to catch what is yours but that's not what their intentions okay they're they're trying to help you probably i see another person standing here and climbing down this hill this can be you actually climbing down the hill after manifesting all your desires i even see like a lightly fishing boat here is present present and the fish is actually on the edge of it so this can be your investments or the time that the effort that you put into something maybe you have taken some classes or improved yourself or be thinking about it the the fish the small fish in the beginning is an indication that whatever you put inside yourself whatever the investment do you do to yourself this is gonna actually start to pay off okay this fish is actually an indication of whatever that you put out there it's gonna be coming back to you multiplied in the energy and if you put positive energy out there if you just learn good things and teach them and like whatever it is that in your area you can interpret that how it comes to you you're going to start to manifest all the goodness and the wealth and the money is going to be flowing there's a small heart here this can be like a person that looks like a male figure wearing a cloak doesn't have to be like a male figure it can be a masculine energy that is going to be coming towards you they might start with like the small uh, loving gestures that you're going to see from this person and after that maybe it's going to even become something huge in between there is a house here and you're standing in the middle of it so this can be like a change of place or space or moving in with someone but you're standing alone here so this can be like maybe you're actually going to be changing your environment okay i see here towards the end there's two different paths that are opening you're traveling one for pleasure but i see here here is like you're wearing this flower hat so this can be something artistic that you're going to be doing or inspiring environment that you're going to be getting into the second one has another person here this can be for like a family member or someone that is actually close to you and at the end there's a male's uh, like a one man with a beard and a mustache so this can be like there are two separate people either you're visiting them they can be from your family maybe you are the matchmaker or maybe if the, these people are upset with each other maybe you're going to be actually finding a middle middle path for them or uh, this can be you actually maybe making up with someone that you haven't been talked for a long time, okay? All right, guys, I'm going to get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, keep it in your mind and let's see what the answer is. I see here, this, initially when I look at it, I look like this snake, rattlesnake. What is that type of snake that has like this large, you know, head? Like, um, so that kind of a thing it just showed me snake i usually interpret as like a kundalini energy but this can also be someone who is maybe like in the medicine or medical industry or doing like this kind of energy healing that wants to stick out that wants to be seen and they want to be visible to you that's why it's standing out right here let's see what's your 
answer to your question. I see somebody standing right here outside of your door. Somebody wants to be let in and they're maybe even peeking out from your keyhole, meaning like they want to see what you're doing. Your peak, uh, keyhole can be like your Instagram, your Facebook account, your social media, whatever that you're showing off this person is actually interested in and they're peeking. So they're probably following that and looking at that, okay? I see there's a ring showing here. This person wants to come to you with commitment. I don't know if you're looking for love or this can be like an offer. First desire is actually going to be coming really fast, but I see you're not feeling very good about it. Like there's a, like a frowning fa face here. So even though it comes, it's not really going to give you the satisfaction you need. You probably want some financial support at the end and there's a second desire you have that is actually bringing the finances into your life okay and that's going to be coming out of nowhere it wasn't initially visible i see that you're praying like like a, a, to like a someone higher or even maybe demanding something from like you see that is a, on a higher level than you uh, this can be literally the creator or someone um, who has more knowledge, maybe a higher position, there's going to be a demand. But then now your hands are falling down. I feel like you're going to be actually getting into the same level with this person. You are actually holding to this wand, which indicates the um, tarot fires. So you are a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is fires and wand, and represented by wands. So you're going to get into your power as soon as like you're going to ask for this thing. Uh, I feel like you're, they're going to be either rejecting or not giving it right away. When they do, you're going to be holding on to your power. And then I feel like they're going to be following you. Like your power is actually going to put you in a place in the space of uh, manifestation. And um, when you stand in your power and know that you deserve what you want, you're going to actually manifest whatever you want from this person uh, without them. I have here the... Page of Swords, it's a new environment, new um, opportunity of learning and even like uh, like good ideas coming in. It, you're going to be very good with communication and you're going to be communicating your thoughts and feelings. And even like you can see, she's crossing over from one um, rock to another, one hill or like, a, you know, one place to another. So you're going to be crossing, you're going to be upgrading. And the birds indicates there's news coming for you. We have the four of pentacles here. It's time to hold on to your emotions, your money. And uh, holding on tightly is not a bad thing. Sometimes this four of pentacles actually indicates that you're holding on to some things that are not serving you very tightly. If that's the case, it's time to just let it go and be, have the open mind like this uh, page of swords. But if that's not the case, if there's like a overspending or over talking going on over sharing happening it's time to just you know um hold on to those thoughts and words and we have here the hermit okay number nine the hermit is actually a sign of virgo and it's telling you to go back into your shell and maybe even discover whatever you want from a person or a position and just you know in the, in the meditation you're going to be receiving answers meditation doesn't have to be like the um you don't have to be meditating you can be praying to get answers as well whatever is actually the practice that you do you connect to the higher power than us so that go into that you know go into that mode so you can actually receive news i have here the hangman the hangman might be telling you it's time to reflect on what is happening okay it's time to um stop a little bit and reflect and to the answers will be actually given to you i see that you have been maybe feeling the, about the things happened in the past we have the five of cups here maybe you're feeling upset and disappointed but we have the empress here whatever that you're putting out there with the chariot is actually going to be coming faster than you can imagine like you're leaving the past behind whatever that hurt you whatever didn't really satisfy you is going to be staying in the past and you're getting over whatever is holding you back so you can move to a better and a brighter future okay and let me pull a final card from oracle of the fairies for you and let's see what that one says it says the moon energy Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. 
all right all right my lovelies that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye